Okay, I promise the lectures will be now quicker. I have to finish this tea. And after that, everything will go really smooth. As I said, I assume that people who are in this course are very basic users of PowerPoint or never even touch the program. So everything we will explain here will be very simple. In this lecture, I would like to talk about interface. It's basically very straightforward. If you open PowerPoint to a new file, let me maybe do this by going to file blank presentation. A new PowerPoint window is opened. And as you can see in the interface, right now, this is entirely in my face. This is very big. What I like to do, I like to go to the right corner where we have some basic functions like previewing our presentation or making the entire window zoomed out. You can also do this by clicking your left control or command key and scrolling down on your mouse. This is very convenient. As you can see, we have some guides and rulers here. Those guides and rulers can be switched off by going to view. We have your ruler, grid lines, you can see the grid appears, and guides. So you don't even have to be a perfect designer because you always can open grid lines and make everything really perfect. Okay, I will deselect that, I'll go back to my home tab and here is where I would like to explain you the interface. On the left side, you have your slide area where you add new slides and new section if you would like to give the sections names. For example, second section. And here all the new slides would be in the second section. You can simply click and drag slides if you want to move them between sections or you want to move just between them because you might explain a concept here, you might explain something different here and then you think, well, it would be better if I would explain this first, so you just take it and you drag it up. The main part of the screen is your working area where you add text, you edit boxes, you add pictures, you add charts, you add tables. You edit everything inside here. And the thing you edit it with is on the entire ribbon. The ribbon, this will be your task for this lesson, to open up PowerPoint and click on each section of the ribbon. You might think that not all of those are available to you because you might not have the developer or the recording. Please do not worry about that or, or the add-ins because the add-ins are from third-party programs or separately added uh, tools. Absolutely do not worry about that because we can go to later on. This is more advanced, that's what you shouldn't be worried about this, but you can go to file you can go to options and here you might customize the ribbon by adding new functions and selecting which tabs should be available if you plan to eventually add something by going to the insert tab you can click on the insert tab you can for example add any given shape clicking on a shape clicking here and dragging and if you are selecting this shape you can see a new option appears, drawing tools. This is an option which appears specifically to the item you have selected. More about that later. Right now your job is to get a little bit familiar with the interface. Please try during this process to add anything to your screen, either just adding text like here, selecting the text and maybe just exploring what could potentially be done with this text. 